I'm Mike Nelson. This is the Satellite of Love. Oh, and this is I am so angry. I can't remember when I've been this angry. Bro, what's wrong? What happened? I've got amnesia. Amnesia? Oh, can you believe it? I, of all people, Crow T. Robot, have amnesia. Hey, anybody know the capital of South Dakota? Pierre. Oh, thanks a lot. So, Crow, Pierre. about this amnesia of yours. Oh, it's terrible, Mike. The list of things I can't remember is endless. I can't remember you. I can't remember Cambot. I can't remember Fisk's home run off the foul pole in the bottom of the 12th in Game 6 of the 75 World Series. Okay, Mythical Beast, eight letters, beginning with... Minotaur. Oh, thanks a lot. Uh, let's right. see. The last time I had amnesia, I got somebody to hit me a sharp blow to the head. Huh. Cleared her up right away. Uh, would you mind, Mike? Uh, <laughs> just, uh... Well, I don't know, but anything I can do to help, I, I suppose, yeah. Well, if I'm not mistaken, there should be a large wooden mallet under the desk. Well, I, I can't seem to, uh... uh bottom it. shelf on the right, way in the back, uh, behind the lava lamp. Oh, no, you're right. All mm -hmm. right. Well, if you're ready, then, uh, here we go. Okay. Oh, gee. Oh, oh, hey, now I remember. It wasn't amnesia I had. It was ambrosia. <laughs> make a list, baby. Again, harder this time. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> Make a wish, baby, and love will come true. Oh, come Make on, Crow. Come on, give it a rest. Or okay. at least sing something by Eric Carmen. All by myself. Don't want to... Wait, look, look. look. What? look. What? Someone's what? trying to contact us. Who is it? What do you want? Who are you? Ah, oh. oh, Mike, how are you? You're probably wondering why we're dressed as our favorite 70s relief pitchers, Tug McGraw and Raleigh Fingers. Yeah, uh, <laughs> why? That will all become clear soon enough, my impertinent little tit mouse. Frank? Face it, Nelson, your ratings stink. I mean, geez, you draw fewer viewers than reruns of The Duck Factory. <laughs> so, to beef things up a little bit, We've put a little additive in your food supply to turn you and your little minions into the cast of the smash hit starring Lorenzo Lamas, Renegade. And that's why we're dressed as 70s relief pictures. Oh, come on. There's nothing you can put in somebody's food that'll turn them into the cast of Renegade. <laughs> Keep it up. The ratings are on the rise. Yes, baby. Now, remember, you're a cop who's been wrongly accused of a crime, and you uh, roam the countryside as a bounty hunter looking for the murderers of your wife. Yes! Yes! Oh, no. It's wearing off. The ratings are slipping. Ugh. It did I just turn into your wily Winnebago driving Native American buddy and then back again? Oh, okay. Uh, this is not a problem. Us being 70s relief pitchers is worth at least a full ratings point. Uh, uh, show them your Tug McGraw again, Frank. I'm Tug McGraw. <laughs> and is your experiment this week, I've tapped into the 70s jiggle fest, Angel's Revenge. 
starring Jim Backus and Jack Palance, who, in lieu of pay, actually worked for Scotch. On and on! Kill him! Oh, kill him. Oh, Come on, get him! Oh, oh sorry! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, we got movie oh, sign! Movie sign! Please. Well, I have yet to be amused. <laughs> oh, the great gray Don Clark. <laughs> Is he related to true Don Blue? A, Maria the guard. Uh -huh. B, April Keiko to the roof. C, Terry Michelle Elaine through the gate. D, explosive to the roof. E, down the chimney. F, April Keiko to the van. G, pick up Maria. Ace, drive the hell out of there! Defense! Woo! Woo oh, no. It's not gonna work. Hmm? Why? Well, first of all, take off the brass knuckles. You don't look like you've been hurt. Here, try this. Lipstick? Oh, well, okay. I have a feeling Johnny Watt is no, gonna be in this. Lips. Here, I want the prove. Oh, no, my face! Oh, that looks fine. Mary Kay, Kay, Contact Kay. Just like you said. Good job, Angel. Hmm. Not quite. Look. Oh, Colonel Potter. Guards on horseback. Damn. Language, That's Bernice. That's not all, girls. On the tower. I don't know why, but I think it's Eric Carmen. Let's just do our hair and shop. Who's not thrusting? Well, I only saw two guards before. Hmm? Maybe they added some after we hit them at the beach. Doesn't matter. The question is, what are we going to do about it? And who brought the brain? Look, we've got the prize on our side. And we've got these. We can still do it. We can still blow up that compound. Maybe, but it's not going to be as easy as A, B, C. She is the we've smart one. Before. We'll vote now. Thumbs up, we attack. Down, we get out of here. Hey, look, it evolved last night. It's opposable now. <laughs> it's anonymous. <laughs> I'll take care of the guards in this time. No way. Your knees are on the roof. I'm the only one who can be spared. If I don't make it back, the rest of you can still blow up this compound. The few, the proud, the... <laughs> <laughs> they rely on camouflage. <laughs> it's gorgeous out there. A little too gorgeous. Sheila Knievel. Bounce. Behave. Bounce. Oh, hi, Pam. <laughs> I detect the liver-spotted hand of Aaron Spelling is behind this. Mm. Stop standing that way. Connie Stevens is the professional. Hey, you're giving away the plot. <laughs> Great Mitchell's here. Hope they didn't pay a lot for this security guy. <laughs> Dear Ranger Rick Forum, I'm a forest ranger in a small Midwestern town. <laughs> David Mammoth's Oleana. Ow, 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 hey, look at the view. Ow, ow, ow. You wanna have coffee sometime? They're just making out. Gene Shallot wants his hair back. We mourn the end of the fight scene. They're doing their impression of the Madonna. When bad things happen to hot people. Oh, no. I shouldn't have. Yes, you should have. Hmm? We've got a job to do. We have to clean the gutters. Are we going to do it or not? Yes. 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 To Lady Claire all. Yes. Apparently someone thought their thumbs were sexy. If she's dead, I can't watch. She was my favorite character. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'll get those guys at the gate. So, I'm going to run potty first, uh, and then I'll attack. Be careful. Yeah, Semper Fi, Marine. <laughs> You got the wire cutters? What about the underwire cutters? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly LeBrock's heroes. I wonder 
wonder if it aroused suspicion when they ordered those suits. So these were the Carter years. Well, I do sense a malaise here. Charlie was close. I could smell his perfume. <laughs> Squanto, a warrior's tale. At least they blend into the gravel, okay? They're attacking a Klingon language camp. Oh, good. And this was Carter's hostage solution? Well, I found the greatest shampoo. It's called Body on Tap. Herbal Essence is good, but... Oh, wait, I'll tell you after we kill these guys. Well, they've snuck into the old west. <laughs> Those were big dogs. The green barrettes. All right, you know what? I'm just giving in and looking at the breasts. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> For Lancome and Isabella Rossellini. Jose Cardinal looks on. It's Miles O'Keefe with breasts. Turns out the guard's really a great guy. As easy as A, B, C. She formed a sentence. We're up. Let's go. This movie is a shrine for seventh grade boys. <laughs> so lucky one of the first DeLoreans. Behind PTA lines. Be right back. Freddy Fender. No. <laughs> oh. Patty, is that the issue you're in? Wish I hadn't bought a Playgirl. Aw, oh, heck, they're nude anyway. You know, beer and porn do make the shift go faster. Well, even for me, it's fairly pungent in here. I've got a scathingly brilliant idea. Boy, I'll tell you, we never get anything that... Hey, okay, sound by Hanna-Barbera, fine. I think this place smuggles black market galleries and easy riders. Can't get enough super sugar, Chris. Hey. Wait, don't shoot. Please don't Ooh. shoot. <laughs> I still like this better than city slippers, too. Walking out in the mountains and... Mm -hmm. Well, I fell and I scratched my cheek and uh -huh. I broke my shoe. We fully believe is you. Is there anything you can do to help me? I mean, is there anything at all you can do? Hockey moms to the rescue. The Mom 2000. And you'll have to get them to piano lessons safely. The turd gun is ready. The all turd right, gun? Right, here we go. You need one of those. Hang for. on, girl. Take Lee Strong. But not! Hey, the Strauss monster's here in his van. Uh, I don't know if you not the self styling adorn. <laughs> Susan, do you have any tampons? It's the TNA team. It's girls, we're ruined, our empire is crumbling. Flush the wax worms! <laughs> This isn't as cool as Electro Woman and Dyna Girl. Mm. Fred Sanford. <laughs> this is the weirdest Merchant Ivory film. Oh, wow, what a pert little grenade. <laughs> it's secret redneck world headquarters. Yeah, they're all listening to Charlie Daniels in there. It's prepay after five! Well, hey, Vern, I can't find your friggin' legs, Vern. Gas prices are skyrocketing. <laughs> there goes another pumping munch. The air filled with Slim Jims and obscene trucker tapes. <laughs> UPS delivers. Didn't we just blow up this building? Let's go. Hurry, girls. Come on. You shouldn't wear spike heel boots on a commando raid. Into the stump grinder. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, come on. Okay. I'll bet you're wondering what a nice girl like me is doing on the roof of this building. Well, to 
tell you the truth, I'm wondering that myself about now. It all started a few months ago with a street pusher named Styx. He was pushing drugs to kids. I'm a school teacher. I carry a badge. Some of them were my students. Gabriel is out for justice. This is so timely because angels are real, real popular. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to say, Jim Backus looks good in a jumpsuit. Hey, Mr. Haney. I'm glad they preserved the original parallelogram vision format. And Sir Lawrence Olivier. Robert Urich is Dan Tanner. <laughs> Any time is right for a back beer. I'd like a drug, please. This guy's got assistant pro written all over him. <laughs> not interested. Come on, it's a piece Look, of metal. Why don't you go get some money from your rich sister or something, huh? I'm not a pawn shop. I'm a human being. Look, go get the green stuff, then we'll deal. Oh, my purse is a mess. Like a little head on your beer? <laughs> Twerp, why'd you hit me? What makes you think I did it? I fear on my shit. <laughs> fear? That's blood. I've been drinking blood. <laughs> He's a smarty stealer. Oh, I'm not a very good pusher. <laughs> when I entered the fifth grade market, I knew it would be the big leagues. Great, I have to hire protection from Mary Crest Elementary. I'm gonna put the suit on the aliens gave me. <laughs> I will triumph over my head injury. Willie Ames in the Vince Van Patten story. <laughs> the loneliest druggie. Squanto in L.A. Um, the drugs are getting washed. Uh, they, they melted in the sun. <laughs> you sure you know who hit you? Yeah. Look, he snuck up behind me and really clobbered me one. Don't, don't worry, I know who the kid is. He's been using for months. He didn't get away with much, though. Just a few... Joints, doobies, spleefs, reefers. Well, I can't let some little punk get away with this. News. And sports at 11. Has a way of getting around fast. Awful bad for business. Get in. This guy should not be school superintendent. Man, you are dumb. You know that. You are really dumb. I've been smoking a lot. Let some lot. punk kid roll you like that. Shame-based kingpinning. I'm really sorry, Mr. Frommy. It'll never happen again, I swear. I was dumb, but I'm not now. But, uh, sorry I don't get the job done. So... Now let's go get you a peanut buster parfait, huh? Oh, boy, it's a lot of earwax. Ew. Jack's down years. Yeah. You're not going to tell Mom, are you? I'll be disappointed if Grant Goodeath isn't in this. We're addicted kids, still a million strong and growing. This is some hard turf, isn't it? Mean streets of Ojai. There he is, Mr. Farrell. I told you I knew where he'd be. Heidi Fleiss. <laughs> Oh. James at 15 miles an hour. It's hard to jog wearing Orlon. Yeah, Jack could turn the air conditioner off that caddy could catch him. <laughs> Jack's not getting paid enough to run. <laughs> the bad news bears are going to lose that game today, aren't they? Uh, I've got Gambino ties. Sweet tarts! Let this be a warning to Miss Eddington's class. Hey, 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 dummy, don't hurt him too bad. He's our only customer. Keep a roll on him so they'll know he's a user. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on. Ah, uh, finally it all comes together. Oh, <laughs> kids loved Michelle Wilson back then, remember? Yep. <laughs> Ah, the filthy, unfunny comedy of Buddy Hackett. <laughs> you 
those of you who can't get tickets to anything else, stagger in drunk after losing all your money. That's not Flip Wilson, honey. Oh, yes, it is. It's that Geraldine character. You sing with uh, Iggy Pop, you know. I lost $20,000! <laughs> Are you getting funky? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Shine, shine, shine my sh shine. Okay. It was a lot easier to entertain in the 70s. <laughs> this audience would riot if they saw Casey and the Sunshine Band. Dig, dig, dig my legs. Dig, dig, dig my midriff. Yeah. It's one of Cole Porter's worst songs. Ruth Bader Ginsburg on backup. In the 70s, you could take an abstract concept like shining your love and just go with it. Arthur Godfrey, will you shine your love? Her image has been immortalized on pinball machines everywhere. If shining deer is illegal, why isn't shining your love? You know how many people claim they were at this concert? Hey, how about shining my steak over here? Arthur, put a ukulele under his tongue. How are ya? I'm peeking. <laughs> yeah. I know. You know what? I, I, I buffed my love once. I never shined. Shine. Next, on Don Kirshner's rock concert, one of the greatest influences on the disco scene in the late 70s. He's leaving! Yeah! Woo! Woo. Well, she's got one of those. Yeah. We've never seen such great disco. Thank you. Thank you very much. As most of you know, this is my closing show of this engagement. And there's somebody in the audience I'm sure you'd all like to meet. The guy who canceled One me. One of the living legends of show business, Mr. Arthur Godfrey. <laughs> Thank you. You're all fired. You have no humility, all of you. <clears throat> You've been a wonderful audience. And as always, Las Vegas is the best place in the world to entertain. Thank you. Okay, everybody. In the spirit of the 70s, I've come up with a brilliant black exploitation film for all of us to star in. Crow, I don't know, it just seems to me that you've reworked Earth vs. Soup and inserted jivey character names. Oh, like I'm that lazy. <laughs> now, I'm confused. Am I Chocolate Jones or Sugarfly McQueen? Uh, you're both. And you're also reading the part of Sweet Mama Stringbean, who runs the Boutique de Boutte. Okay, Mike. Uh, let's see. Take it from Afro's and Bofro's line on the top of page five. Okay. Girl, don't think on Soul Brothers. I don't have any lines. Whoop. Well, but you get to wear slinky dresses and hold guns and stuff. Not this, sister. Oh. I, uh, Crow, you know, I don't know how to tell you this, but, uh, I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm really not that funky. Mike, to me, you're the Don Cornelius of the 90s. Oh, well, I, I don't really see it that way. I... Chocolate Jones and the Temple of Funk is guaranteed boffo box office. Smudgy the boot black, uh, which I... is, of course, my part. So I'll need a cane. Oh, and Mike, what size the shiki do you wear? Well, I'll get a large. Now, the Cadillac. Where'd you go? Mr. Godfrey! <laughs> I'm so glad you came by. Please, how are you? I just got to say thank you for that wonderful introduction. That was very kind of you. And I had to come back and tell you, you were great. Wonderful. 
Michelle, you're just starting. You can have anything you want. TV, <laughs> movies, anything. You have the makings of a superstar. Yeah. Now, I've invited all the stars that are playing Vegas this week to come to my suite about 3 o'clock in the morning for a little get-together. I'd love to have you come. Can you make it? Oh, I'd love to, but I'm due in L.A. tomorrow. Get out of my dressing well, room. I'd love to have you, but I understand your career comes first, of course. You keep straight like that, and you will be a star. Thank you, Mr. Gar Arthur. Oh, come on over here. I'm going to be of any help. Thank you. Take Marvin, a real thanks skipper. Thanks a lot for huh? stopping by. I've got us booked again for the Carson show. Everything's going to start happening for us. All that work that you work so hard for, it's going to all start paying off. Nothing can stop us. And with your record on the charts and still climbing, we're hot. I mean, like sizzle. Ooh. Yes, but right now, all I want to do is change and get on that plane for home. Shining your love. Hello. <laughs> you want me to be a greeter? Look, don't sure. bother with phone calls now. No, I will not call you little buddy. Oh? He looks a lot like Gertrude Stein. Better take this one. Hello, this is Michelle Wilson. Well, that's sick, Mr. Godfrey. Oh, my God, not Bobby. Is he all right? Oh, no. He is all right. Three fountains Everything in a will be fountain. All right. We're lucky. We have a three-seater bidet. Pay all expenses, everything. He's practicing to be on Mike Douglas. So just take a couple of weeks off. Relax. That way you can go see Bobby in the hospital and... I almost called you Gilligan. Well, then you'll see. He'll be home in no time. It's Fran Leibowitz. Excuse Still me, not writing. Wilson. Amy Thomas is here to see you. She said to tell you she's Bobby's school teacher. And can he get her any pot? Sure, and please. It's the colorful domestic who adds all the humor to the show. <laughs> Welcome to Skipper's. Please. Maybe you'd like to wait in the bar. <laughs> Michelle, I'll leave you two alone. Now, if you need anything, call. Day or night, anything. Pardon me. What would you possibly need from an Alan Hale Jr.? I'm awfully sorry about Bobby. He's a fine boy. Nobody deserves a beating like that. Well, Polly sure does. He wouldn't even tell me who beat him up. The doctor said he was on drugs. How am I related to him again? God, I didn't even know he was using this stuff. He also made an attempt on Ford's I'm life. Young. Bobby's lucky. He'll be okay. Some kids aren't as lucky. I shouldn't have left him with just a housekeeper. I'm talking about the men who push poison onto young kids. Something's got to be done to stop it. Every day a new drug comes along, and these creeps push it onto kids. Every day? That's good marketing. I've got something in here for you to see. This is very interesting, and I've got it in a very important place. It's got wings. It's in here, I know it is, someplace. It's really important. Mm -hmm. I know I've got it in here, now just a moment. Oh, heck. Oh, wait. Here's a velum stuck to a Kleenex. Want it? Ah, uh, here it is. I'm taking a big chance showing you this. A map of historic Williamsburg. I've been working on this for over two years. This is an area located about 75 miles east of Los Angeles. Nearest town's over 20 miles away. You're booked there. This is where they take the stuff that comes in from overseas and process it down to what they sell on the street. There's millions of dollars worth of drugs being processed in this building. Uh -huh. Much of it highly explosive chemicals. We can destroy it in less than a minute. And I know the people who can help us. But I can't approach them. They don't know me, would never trust me. But since your song's doing so well, and they know who you are... Fame equals maybe trustworthy. Maybe we can approach them together. What? I wasn't listening. You really think that we can pull this off? Oh, yes. I'm positive. I'm a very organized person. And this map is perfect in every detail. I know we can do it. Women can make a difference. Ta-da. The director wrote that so we could get laid. Fantastic. Cut. Clean up the corpse. Let's move on. Barry Knight's first feature. <laughs> you all right? Sure, no sweat. It was a snap. Did you get it, I hope? Yeah, I think so. Uh, how'd it look? Terrific. Should we have filmed oh, okay. it? Okay. That's good. You can, you can go now. Uh, let's get a real actor in here, please. Oh, that'd blow the budget, sir. Come on, Rick, hurry up with the actor, would you? Jesus, would you please take your mark? Come on, could we get an actor? Jeez. 
Her name's Terry Grant. She's mm -hmm. the best stunt driver in Hollywood. And she's deaf. She can drive and modify a vehicle better than anyone else in this town. She'll help us. Her brother overdosed five years ago. She's black, you know. Oh, um, Miss Grant. That was a fantastic stunt. Are you okay? Oh, sure. Thanks. You need a real stunt sign? Too, if you know what you're doing. <laughs> hey, you're Michelle Wilson, aren't you? You're terrible. God, I just love your voice. Are you working on this movie? No. But we've got something to talk to you about. It's about the pencil uh, test. not making movies. So come on in, we'll talk. Do you have a stunt graph for my friend? Keiko Yamaro, yeah. here from yeah. Vietnam a little over two years, and knows what problems the kids can get into. She teaches karate and dance for these kids in the morning. She'll help. She's the Asian yeah. one in our group. Yeah. You killed my brother last week. Yeah. Yeah. Can we go? Yeah. 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 A very special all-American girl. Let Choi makes Chinese food. Get her! Rip her apart! Get her! Darn it. Now, I know it's in here somewhere. I just know it. I put it here myself. Oh, oh, oh good. Papa. Here, it is. here it is. Oh, good. Okay. Are you ready? Do you think you could climb to the roof of that building and drop explosives down the chimney? Are you kidding? If it keep one kid from getting hooked, I'll climb up to the top of the city hall and dump that bomb down. Yes or no? Hey, you know, that really sounds great, but uh, we're talking about a well-armed place here. Can you do this job or not? Well, how many guards are there? Just two. See, just two at the gate. I don't know. There must be more guards inside those buildings. It will sure help to keep those guards attention away from the roof of that building. I've got an idea. What a great Just idea! Do the Miss job. Max Fly! Her name's Maria. She could keep the guard's attention away from the roof of the building. She'll help us. She's an ex-junkie. She's been out of prison a little over six months. You've all probably seen her pictures in a magazine. In the world. She's a top model. That's why they shoot her in mall parking lots. You're so beautiful. She's bouncing on Alan Hale's stomach. <laughs> Just a little bit. Great, great. Let me see. Shake your head out. Shake your head. Hi, Teach. Hi, Chong. Oh, hello, Trish. How are you today? No school. I'm cool. Hey, Teach, is that Michelle Wilson? She sucks. Ah, uh, yes, it is. Excuse us. She rejected me. I'm gonna go use drugs. We will, like, bury I you. I wonder where Maria is. Singing with Yvonne Trash. Harry. Are you sure we can trust her? I'm positive. Look, you girls gotta learn how. Hi, everybody. I trust her. <laughs> this is Elaine Braddock. She's a friend of mine. Mm. She helped me when I needed her, and boy, we could sure use her help now. She's flat, but I think we Maria can trust her. Maria told me about your plan. I think it might be successful. I interrupted my perm to come here. Attempt. I don't think we really need your help. Let's listen to her, Terry. I Maria mean, told me about this. I've been guarding the one potato, too, for about a week now. You're April, right? What's your plan? Who's your daddy? We're gonna drop a bomb down the chimney of that building. And then drugs will be gone. That's a nice idea, but it's not a plan. I misemphasize words. Where's this compound located? When the time comes, I'll show you all where it is. That's the way you want it. That's all right. Now, let's assume that these... Are baked beans. Are the three buildings. Watch the lady. Watch the lady. This is our target. Don't spill my fish balls. And this is the main gate. Okay. Maria gets the guard's attention here. You shine your love. April and Keiko cut through the wire and get to the roof of this building. Who here speaks Michelle, German? Michelle, Terry, and myself. Shave our heads and get to Brussels. Back to the main gate. We'll need a heavy-duty van or a truck to hit that gate. That's no problem. I'll buy us anything we need, and I can fix up a van so it'll blast through any gate, and nobody will be able to stop us. All right, I think it's great! Killer. Trish, what are you doing here? Well, I heard you ask for Maria for help, and... This is no place for a kid. I can help! And it's extra credit! Besides, well, I, I know what you guys are planning to do, and are you trying to blackmail her? No, but, but I can't help around here. Look, look, I'll put things away, and... Or I can help with the nails. <laughs> <laughs> well, suddenly I'm thirsty for a seven. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think? Not enough deep shag. I don't know. 
This happened on Designing Women once. What do you think, Terry? Hey, don't worry. When I get through with this thing, it'll be fantastic. Right on, Walona. <laughs> well, howdy, girl. Shall I have to lean her up for you? Well, mercy, mercy, says Mrs. Percy. You girls are as pretty as a creek full of catfish. <laughs> oh, it's that old bastard from the TV. <laughs> you need this man. I can make you a deal as sure as a goose goes barefoot. Now, all you gotta do, just put a little down payment and the paltry sum of $12,673.88, it's all yours, just as it stands. Well, maybe we could make a deal about the $73. He's embalmed. Hey, you're the pick of the litter, you know that? <laughs> you <laughs> you think then you're... how about the 88 cents? <laughs> oh, my artificial <laughs> hip! Hold it there. Hey! Oh, oh, you girls sure do cover a vehicle. You jump around, it, it's, it's like a rooster going through a hen house. Never mind about the trading stamp tax. Just mail the title to the address on the check. Oh, right, it's ours. Let's go, girls. It, 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 uh, the check. Wait, wait, I've got more barnyard analogies. The check. Oh, uh, wait, girl. I have to circle your phone number before you can leave. Hey, it has to be verified. For information on the Pat Buttram fan club, this is made out to well, Gabby Hayes. They'll recall the van back to the factory in a few weeks anyway. Olympia Dukakis, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they can get all my children. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Charlene Tilton <laughs> channel. All right. What's the cross for? A little surprise for anybody following. You see that bazooka? I like this. Sometimes a bazooka's just a bazooka. This is really nice. Oh. Just push that button. And whoever was following us, boom, ain't no more. Plus, it's got neat pop this holders. Is really neat. I mean, really. Oh, oh, you forgot the battery now. We've got a bus to the main gate. It's just a contest. big hotel ice maker. <laughs> Report into spill. She'll take any gate and a lot more. We've got to do one more thing before we destroy that pop. Compound. Everybody go potty. Oh, no. What did I forget? We've got to lay our hands on some heavy ammunition to arm this baby. There's a bunch of right-wing military fanatics at headquarter out in Ventura County. They've got an organization called the American Right. Headed by Newt Gingrich. They've got an arsenal there. They're prepared to start World War III. Hmm? If we're going to steal their guns, we better check it out first. Like I always tell my students, preparation is the key to an A+. I'll go down and snoop around as a potential member. That's yeah. no good, Elaine. They might recognize a cop. Well, how about me? I could tell them I wish to make a big donation for my poor deceased husband's estate. <sighs> I'll shake my butt a little, and we'll get all the ammunition we need. Okay, and to make this work, I'll go as your chauffeur, just in case there's any trouble. Trouble? But we're pretty. You think there might be some trouble? Oh, no, you can handle it. Just put the mace and brass knuckles in your purse. Can't they just buy some ammunition? Well... I never go anywhere without them. That's moose. And we'll be close by, just in case. And I can climb through a window or something. Not that it'll and help. And you can stand by the phone in the garage in case of any emergency. <laughs> uh, I never get to do any of this. Uh, well, yeah, hiya. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's Lynn Russell's house. You and your date will be chauffeured to exotic Centerville, Minnesota. <laughs> Here comes the Prime Minister of Greece. <laughs> Must be engaged to Sean Penn. <laughs> Sean Penn. Ooh. Look at that, Stanley. She's getting more and more Tina Louise. Louise. Mrs. Hildago <laughs> Campbell of Houston. You were expected, Mrs. Campbell. Step right this way. We're going to prom. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> She's an arachnid. <laughs> Hired help must wait outside. If you don't mind, I'll go with Mrs. Campbell. You better step aside. Mm, 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 mm. I've given fair warning. Now, now, dear. You'll do as you're told. No more, no less. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, welcome, welcome, Miss Campbell. <laughs> Delighted to make your acquaintance. I am Commander Lindsay March, Commander of the uh, American Rights. Yes, the pleasure will be all mine, I'm sure. 
Jim Backus is John Phillips. Oh, you lovely ladies and your lovely rings. <laughs> How many of those are load-bearing straps? Oh, there seems to be some problem about my chauffeur. Well, we have very tight security here, if you know it. We must all follow the same rules. Do you understand? Well, yes, I do, and I am quite pleased. Perhaps I should inspect your security. I mean, before I'm to make any big donation. <laughs> well, my <laughs> late husband always taught me to be very cautious. Well, very wise, very wise of your late husband. Uh, uh, how did he uh, come to us, Ann? He got swine flu. Oh, in the saddle, I'm afraid. <laughs> what a way to go. Uh, in the saddle? Yes, he was um, thrown from his favorite horse. Oh, how, how tragic. Would you care to... Uh, 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 finish my sentence. Uh, 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 with my chauffeur? With your chauffeur. Well, no, perhaps we better make a, a tour of the grounds first. Uh, I'll just show a little tour of inspection. If you please, Sergeant, Sergeant. This was Jim Backus's first film after he died. <laughs> I didn't know that. Clean up this fence, immediately. Yes, sir, right away, sir. Insubordination. These survivalists couldn't survive a grape embargo. I want to take you on a tour of the facilities. Here. That's going to be the parade ground, and the barracks are way past there, and then we have livestock. I, I intend this entire establishment to be self-sustained. Now, of course, this is uh, what we call... I was hoping the never to see Jim Backus in thigh-high boots. <laughs> then here's where we grow dirt. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Night Rider for moms. So Jim Backus runs a trout hatchery? <laughs> And we're thinking of starting a fascist petting zoo. <laughs> Only poor Jim had gotten residuals from Gilligan's Island. And, uh, Mr. Campbell, you will find that your very uh, generous contributions will be put to very good use. <laughs> Everything, of course, is legal, and all our properties are sacrosanct under the law. <laughs> Don't you know? Excellent. And you have no fear of criminal elements attempting to steal your supplies? Oh, none whatsoever. My men are more than equal to the task, as, as you can see. <laughs> this scene was totally improvised. <laughs> you know, the Hudson brothers were funnier than these guys. Where do you want me to put this, Commander, sir? Uh, just put it down, will you, Sergeant? <laughs> John Irving as Adolf Hitler in The Bay. Perhaps you'd come in here and I could offer you a drink. Oh, no thank you, Commander March, but I am running a little late. We'll have to conclude our business another time. Come on, Terry. I hope you have the problem with your servant hasn't... Tell you what, that's you and me shaking makeup. Only out of respect for your beautiful and generous employer. Uh-huh. Now, who couldn't do that to Jim Baxter? Uh, Terry! Uh... Well, why don't you stop? We'll come back later. You have my promise. You know, now I appreciate the quiet dignity of Pat Buttram's performance. Help me up, will you? <laughs> Respect to the uniform. I I'm just going to look away until the funny part's over. Oh, I understand it took hours to get this shot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Do you have any fives? Fives, fives. Uh, nope. No mm. fives. Hey, guys, check it out. Hey. Uh, huh? <laughs> uh, hold that thought, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Hey. Fire in the hole! So, uh, any jacks? Uh, no. Go ah. fish. Oh, movie sign! Oh! Get up! Sorry, we had to destroy you, Mike. You understand? I do. You know I'm starting to root for the drug dealers in this movie? <laughs> Stow, stow or I'll shoo. Look, everyone, I made a potty. Circus of the B-movie stars. Got the keys. I've got the keys, 
Uh, here, uh, hold this. I've got the key. There you are. I'd rather spend a weekend in Robert Bork's underpants than watch more of this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Boy, when Jim Backus turns on the funny meter, huh? <laughs> Could those brightly lit, tight white jumpsuit clad, deeply decolletaged women have anything to do with this? Still, it's all going much smoother than the Bay of Pigs operation. Suddenly, Alan Hale felt much better about his performance. So Jim Backus is the god of wine, right? Why does Tom Clancy novel really loses something in the film version? Love, eh? Women and they're fully boobed. Get over there. In the name of Natalie Schaefer, you're all under arrest. The Apollo astronauts. Wait a minute, this turkey's all mine. Miss Jane Pittman in striking distance. Oh, an Orrin Thompson home. <laughs> Jimbo, I'll be a man for you, Jimbo. Yeah. Jimbo. And Jim Backus gracefully closes his career. Five Mrs. Buchanan's on a rampage. My Schnapple! I'm the NRA and it's fun. Dreams have landed. And it didn't take us any four months of police officer training either. Yeah, but it didn't take you three months of learning how to march in a straight line. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> to follow Jim Backus. Lane, can I please? Please, let me try. Come on. Well, come yeah, on. Oh, yeah. Please. Okay, we'll give you a chance oh, to boy. act. This is the same kind of gun I used to shoot my Fayette teacher. Can I fire now? Fox Force 5. Ready? Aim. Pull. Fire. Oh. Why does it jump in Be my careful. You ruined my pedicure. My period. I'd better go after her. Poor kid. No, Michelle. I'll do it. I'll bring her back here and really teach her how to fire this thing. Even if it kills me. God, she's so thin. I hate her. Well, I think we're ready to hit the processing compound. Mm -hmm. Band's ready, so am I. Uh, I'm afraid we may be a little late. Mm -hmm. There's word going around school that the shipment's about to hit the street. Why today. didn't you say something? Did you the compound? Whole point. Would you hit it before it gets on the street? If we don't stop that shipment, that poison will be hooking kids. Mm -hmm. Let's stop it then. All right. I agree. But how? We don't even know where the shipment's coming in. And we need our hot rollers. I know a guy that can tell us. Marjo Gortner? Go ahead and seven, tight pants. <laughs> well, the oil embargo is going to affect his shirt supply. Jeez, you need orangutan arms to reach the gas cap. Hi, you know where we can score some gas? Hey! Dick, baby! Where you been? Where'd you get this machine? Hey, Cheech, man! Oh. <laughs> Tell you what, you ought to come inside and have a look. Yeah? Yeah. What you got in there? Oh, why don't you come in and see? Hi, Dick. Hey, what you got in there? She beat me up in her Chevy van, and that's all right with me. Oh, he's having a baby. What a lovely way for him to say how much he loves me. <laughs> Before we start between his legs, let's ask him one more time. Oh. Tell us the exact location of the next pickup, pusher man. Cookie man. What pickup? I don't know anything about pickup. Scum like you've been poisoning kids. Oh. Well, I have a poisoning one. Well, just give me down a car, girl. Maybe you don't think we're serious. Oh. Right here, Keiko. Ooh. No. Oh, come on! Ah, these are my chest king pants! This is the guy that hooked me, so don't be too careful. This is a tough fourth step. Come on, baby, you know what I was like, you? Oh. It's Dwarf oh. Fest 78. Oh. These oh. kids just love genital no. mutilation. No, okay, okay I'll, I'll tell you, just, just let me down, all right? Just let me down! All right, push a man. When, where, and how. Come on. I can't even face straight anymore. Just let me down on my feet. I'll tell you. Come on. You need a little more persuasion. It's a wanton, unauthorized bris. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, you would. They're revoking his membership. Wow. Meanwhile, on the beaches of Scotland. 
Whoopee. Whoopee. Professional beach volleyball wasn't that good in the Maybe early days. Maybe stick fly to it. I don't see anything out there. Who could see anything in this fog? Darn it. Well, he said this was the place. With the helpful hardware, man. Where the buoys hey, are. That one, please. <laughs> That'd be a pretty good trick, Billy. <laughs> That your line is tied to a buoy out there in the middle of the ocean. Don't rob me of my joy, Joe. Idiot. Hey, Joe, look. We got company. Can those chicks read? We put a sign up. Private Beach. Hey, they ain't half bad. Mm -hmm. Let's stay. What can it hurt? Come on. Mm -hmm. You want to tell the boss that? Springsteen? Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Billy, go get rid of them. I don't care how you do it, but get rid of them. Understand? I'll keep looking for the drought. Here, hold it, will you? <laughs> will you put that down? Right now. Oh, he's got crotchless waders on. Wow. <sighs> Looks like this could be fun. Them chicks might just get lucky. Oh. What did you say? Nothing. All I right. have to go shower now. I understand. I just can't wait for the outtakes at the end of the movie. You know what this scene needs? Hmm? Eddie Deason. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Yeah. Should we open the know. chicken? What do you think? Um, I don't. Someone's coming. Uh, pardon me, ladies, but, uh, see this sign? Private Beach. It says right here. P-R-I. There you got your pry. V-A-T-E. Huh. There you got your vit. Finally, someone Jim Varney can feel superior to. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so they spelled it wrong. <laughs> but the point is, this is a private beach. And you're gonna have to get your private out of here. Show him the wiener. We're sorry. <laughs> We just want to be by ourselves and get some sun. Sun? There ain't no sun in this weather. Well, we want to get some fog. Yeah. Would you like to get some with us? What do you think about that? Do you play basketball? Oh, this is offending one-celled animals. I'm sorry, girls, but they're going to have to leave. I mean, they're all going to have to leave. Sandy Hackett, ladies and gentlemen. Right. There's no sun. <laughs> So why don't you bring your friend over here, and we'll all have some fun in the fog. We'll provide you with sex, which is something that men like. Listen, I, I just can't right now. Oh, come on. Look, this is a private beach, and you're really going to have to I'm sorry. Oh, fishing can't be that much fun now, can it? Wait, miss, you don't understand. I just shut up and take your clothes off. This doesn't do it for me like that similar scene in The Violent Years. Yeah, director doesn't have Ed Wood's passion for this kind of material. You really want me bad, don't you, baby? Oh. Hey, that's cool. If you oh. girls can't live without me, oh. you got it. Oh. Oh. oh, Robert Reich is sailing. No. Nice day! Don't do that! I bet the phrase, where's my cocaine, was heard a lot on this Jeez. film. No use him having all the fun. We've got plenty to share. We have additional sex for you also. Focus on the buoy. Just focus on the buoy. Oh. Oh. I hope those are stunt tongues. Oh. They're eating his brain. <laughs> this is your brain on sex. Any questions? out of these anyway, but only for a few minutes, okay? Okay, that's long enough. Oh, he inflated his chest to impress the female. <laughs> gonna get medieval on his ass. You, uh, really know how to follow orders, don't you, Billy? Oh, oh, oh. What did you say? Oil oh, can! Oh. Oil can! Oh, all right. Don't you keep all this to yourself. <laughs> now, girls, I don't have a lot of time. Get your clothes off. All right, well, I have to warn you, I have an elaborate network of trusses. Hey, what is this? Just drop your pants, stud, and start talking. Now, what about that shipment? Shipment of pants? I don't know any shipment of pants. Does this mean the date's off? Wop, 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 boing. Ding. Ah, oh. smugglers alerted their contacts by wearing really dumb hats. <laughs> I still like this better than the Blue Lagoon. Send acting coach. C and H, pure cane sugar from Hawaii. 
lives on me. It's the merry old Hemingway boat lift. Oh. The survivors of the Achille Laurel have made it around the buoy, but here come the survivors of the Titanic looking very good coming on. They wanted Bob Denver for this role. Get up on the rock. Okay. Oh, good. Pull! I am. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. Harder! Okay. Okay. It took 20 guys to drop that off. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. What kind of lure do you use to catch cocaine? A spoon? Oh, 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 oh. Meanwhile, Richard Nixon is wasting oh. millions on the Glomar Explorer. I'm a commode that fell from grace with the sea. Okay, okay. We got it. This we could be it. a light tackle Ooh. record. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, oh, no. We got it. We got it. Okay, okay. Oh, my hair. Oh, Damn it. Oh, quick, hurry. pretend you're Sean Phillips. <laughs> Jane Campion's The Piano Stool. Oh, yummy, yummy. Get out of here. Okay, be careful. Come on, quick, go back if you can. Okay, okay, come on, move. Right yummy, yummy, oh, a digga digga bowl full. Oh, you get some big, big flavor, oceans. They're getting close. So did they row all the way from Columbia to drop off the drugs? This is straight out of the Brady's in Hawaii. The Mommies, an action-packed adventure. <laughs> Deep cup day. I'm sure Gidget's tied up in this somehow. Well, at least the weather cleared up instantly for them. <laughs> I'm so sure. Mrs. Paul and Long John Silver in a battle to the death. Thank you, Nair, for making this fight possible. Mm -hmm. More Jackie O than Jackie Chan. Oh, my back. Oh, whoopsie daisy, are you okay? Why, it's Max Patkin, the clown prince of baseball. Hey, that's my womb. Try this nighty on. <laughs> Scenes cut from the longest day. Right now, Benny Hill is smiling down from heaven. <laughs> I wonder what's in those boats over there. I don't know. Let's go. By going, we'll find out what's in them. <laughs> These will look so cute in the bathroom. They are going to get so hot. In response to the energy crisis, Cadillac produces this new subcompact. I'm Lyle Wagner. May I help you? Dad is in there. <laughs> is that a Sears 12-piece suit, or is it from the Johnny Carson collection? Welcome back to jail, Mr. Gotti. <laughs> you know you're old when you got curb feelers in your car. Police discovered eight men bound and gagged at the beach today. Evidence of narcotics was discovered, and the men are being held. You're listening to K-Plot. <laughs> Dad, Jethro's down in the cement pound. We're listening to one of those nature tapes. <laughs> Peter Lawford's got Christy McNichol hair. Grease baby. <laughs> hey, Mike, bet that's you in high school, huh? <laughs> You're not far <laughs> off, my friend. The Doberman gang in a one-man show. Engelbert Humperdinck. He's going to sing him to sleep after the lovin'. <laughs> yeah, crap bigger than him. Yeah, maybe these are his kibbles and bits. <laughs> his 
telling me to kill my parents. I think Peter has any idea where he is. Hey, come on, you know I'm lactose intolerant. Eh, maybe one, then the Stairmaster. <laughs> Can I have another buttermint? Control, Mike, it's all control. And we're all beasts in the same jungle. Sometimes we eat our own vomit. We lose control, we're lost. And incontinent. See baby here, he loves me. Hmm? But if I lost control of him for one instant, he'd tear my throat out. But he's great with kids. Do you understand me? <laughs> I'll take care of things just like we agreed, but I can't control these junky guys. Mike, control is the key of life. <laughs> we have to control everything or we will be controlled. Control, huh? Now, if you can't do the job... Oh, come on now. You know I can do it. I've been controlling things for years. We've both made a lot of money. I'll try to clean this mess up. Hey, it's your dog. I hate to have to do it myself. Can you borrow me some swim trunks? Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I drove all the way up here for this. If you're going to wake me up this early, you got to expect me to drink. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Ah, they're going to force him to fix their tranny. That was incredible. Maybe Keiko's right. Maybe we should give him another chance. Okay, we'll vote on it. Everybody take a full and an empty cartridge. I like the thumb voting. Full round means death. Empty cartridge means second chance. And sha la 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 means I love you. Kind of an NRA voting procedure. Chuck Heston kind of vote. <laughs> you too, Trish. I want to go to the mall. Give us Jim back us. Big Mania. Six empty, one full. Uh, huh? Majority rule. It's a bad day at Tires Plus. Okay, Sticks. You've been missing for over two days now. And your friends are bound to figure you had a part in hitting that shipment at the beach. Mm-hmm. And don't go turning on any more kids to anything, anywhere. Because we'll find out. We'll come after you, no matter where you are. I swear, I'll never push the stuff again. Can I have my wiener back? All right. I'm tired of looking at him. Let's get him out of here. This is a full-service station, huh? Okay, clean him up and tell the owner he's ready. Yeah, ride, riding like the demon that drives your dreams. That's not bad. Mom, Mom, a bunch of girls took my drugs and snagged on me. How will I make it on my own? <laughs> the Kronos Quartet live on this block. With bar talk, apparently. I was lucky to get a space. I'm leaving you. I just want to talk to you. I've arranged counseling for you at the member center. I'm William Cad for Sansonite. H-I-S by Chick. Locked. Oh, he should have learned his own apartment complex better. communities well I'll ask the fellow in here if he knows where that guy went uh, you were the most childish second, drug kingpin I've ever heard Wait a minute. hey your bag is too big to fit in the overhead compartment I'll have to ask you to check it without tradition we are all like a drug dealer on the roof <laughs> underalls for men ding, ding. My 
suit still looks great. This was filmed on location, you know. We continue now with international hide and seek. Look, just take a watchtower and read it. You borrow my good tie, the Countess Mara. Just take it easy. All I want to do is talk to you. Get out of my way! I have to crouch by that other spot. Get out of my way! Don't try it, kid. Wait! No! No! Oh. Oh, the whole building just lost the price is right. Help me! Help me up, please! Help me! Jeez, you might fall a whole 12 feet. All right, I'll help you. First, you gotta help me. You got me into a lot of trouble with the big boss. Tell me where you've been the last few days and who hit one of our shipments. Help! Help me up! Just pull me up! No, no, tell me right now. What? Just please pull me up! Tell me! Boy, he's had to answer a lot of questions under duress lately. Mm -hmm. Please, show me! Help! You should die for those yeah! pants alone. Oh, ooh, sorry, ma'am. Oh, that's okay. You all right? if I could sunbathe nude up here. <laughs> so now you know what kind of creeps we're dealing with uh -huh. and why a nice school teacher like me is trying to blow up a building. That was a long flashback. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Correct all made this jump possible. So they just destroyed all the drugs in the world. Mm -hmm. Are we hot or is it just us? We yeah. killed lots of people. <laughs> Richard Farnsworth is out for justice. My Charlie Daniels t-shirt is in there. That was some hot chili. Woo! <laughs> so much for the historic registration designation. Wait a minute. This is a lot like Charlie's Angels. Hey! Yeah. Oh, gee, I thought I dropped a bomb in there, but wow. Thank you, Madame Musil. Did you see the way Jen was dressed during the raid? I mean, really... <laughs> war on drugs was never sexier. Girls, we've got company. Get out the good linen. Speed dial my manicurist. Uh, geez, it was just the Johnson family going to mass. Oh, now how will the kids get to band practice? Would you boys? <laughs> I'm adjusting my food right now. <laughs> Al Needham's gold diggers are off to another adventure. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the reason this movie was made. <laughs> Did you guys see this girl on her bike? That was neat. You went so bad yourself, girl. All of us were great. Hey, where's April? In Paris. I thought beating the drug lords would be more fulfilling than this. Acting lessons Why are a not? good idea. We're a team. Darn good team. We did it once. We can do it again. Some say love, love. Some say love. Mike, 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 Mike,
disgraceful. Wow, this could take a while. I feel so insignificant. We'll be right back. Oh my me. God, you're nude. Ah, that's a Picasso, isn't it? <laughs> hey, that's, uh, that's beautiful. It's got a wonderful otherness. Something like Picasso with the uh, funny eye. And that rose, that's... Uh... You're going to kill me, aren't you? Uh, I guess you're waiting to hear that I... Uh... I got the bras that hit us, huh? Got the bras that fit us? Our processing plant completely destroyed. Ooh. Better than $10 million worth of good product down the tube. Sinatra won't talk to me. Very frustrating, Mr. Farrell. Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. I talked to you before about control. What plans do you have to control this situation now? Well, look, actually, I was on the way out, out to the compound. I thought that maybe I could find some evidence, you know, about who, you know. They cut the wires with these. Ah, snap-on, yes. Got a lifetime guarantee, you know. They're very good tools. Isn't? I can have these checked out for, for fingerprints. They're late again. Some dumb school teacher. No, oh, now our educational system isn't perfect, but he, hey, she was my teacher. She's hard. <laughs> He's Jack got in a good one before he left. <laughs> it's not my fault JFK stayed at Crosby's house. She got that at the fair. About killing drug lords. Teacher's pet. I want to be a teacher's pet. Well, you'll pass if you're lucky. Yeah, maybe. Well, bye, Teach. Be careful. Don't tell anybody about the people we killed. To me, with love. Dum, 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 dum. I think it'd be fun to waste a pusher. Miss? May I speak to you for a moment, please? It's about my report yes. card. What can I do for you? What's this incomplete crap? You're Miss Thomas, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'd like to talk to you about my nephew. He's, uh... A Jones in real bad. Got a little trouble. You're, you're, uh, you're his teacher, I understand. Oh, sure. I have a few moments. What's his name? You broads really think that you can get away with this, huh? Well, that's a weird name. Come on. <laughs> Ain't no fair fake hitting me. Damn, I forgot you were a commando. You sure had Miss Thomas' picture? That's right. I saw it. Hey, don't you want to make out? You are now on six days' detention, mister. Oh, do. Do, do. Oh, Trish. You got I'm a song? I'm so glad you came back. Come over here and help me. No, no. Huh? Get to a phone and call the girls. Tell them I'm bringing them in for a confession so we can find out who the real big shot is. Just like we did sticks. This time, I'm going to use that big sword. Hurry and, and, and go before we're discovered, and I'll make you back to headquarters. It's so cool that we got a headquarters. <laughs> Date turns ugly. Well, yeah, she's putting him in the car now, and she's bringing him in. Well, we'll both be there, and and oh no! Her left front tire is low. Got her. He's he's got April. This looks like a job for girl woman. The phone committed suicide. This world is awfully big. Girl, this time I'm on my own. With each glance and every little movement, I know it. Misses breaking away.
I'm on a cycling tour of North Cornwall. Wait here, Black Beauty. Oh, she's on a date. Mister, you're dragging your high school girl. He's got a dent. Good thing she has suction cups on her fingers. This all works fine until they go to the car wash. Ooh. I think she loves me, so what am I? <laughs> my bike. Oh. Oh, oh, I really think taking the 105 would be faster. If he drops her on that part of the road, it's a $500 fine. Do you think that's a stunt person? No, it's Marnie Nixon. Oh, oh shoot. I'll have to roll the rest of the way. You see, this is why getting a bus pass is a good idea. <laughs> oh, my bone is sticking through my leg. Hey, and hang it. Damn it. Janet. She's got to call back. She's got to. Maybe if we stare at the phone really hard. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Let's see you swim with this on your leg, baby. It would be less incriminating if they threw her in the river. Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh. Not the Hamilton no. Beach. It's the cover of the Nirvana album. fiendish plot to ruin her hair with chlorine. Didn't we have thrown her in the deep end, boss? <laughs> the common sophomore blends easily into its surroundings. Hot shrub action. Running, 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 running. She's running, 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 and running, and running, and running, and running, and really, really running. Thank you. She's running, she's running, thank you. Running towards us, running. Yes. And running. Wow, she's easily discouraged. You're a fumbling fool. But you look good in a speedo. Fear of death is the quickest way. Just watch and learn. It's a wet teacher contest. And running, and running, now she's running down hill. She's running down the hill and she's running and running and running. Can I get permission to hit him? And running and running and running. And she's really, really running. Mom, can you pick me up? I'm done with play practice. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Stay out of sight till we get there. We're on our way. Arthur Godfrey's Go. in trouble. <laughs> the drowning oh, cousin. Miss. Oh, oh, oh. miss, this is really getting quite silly. And I'm running out of patience. Really? I'm having a good time. Miss. Just give us the names of the others. I mean, I did it myself. I did it all myself. Teacher has it in for me, man. Why are you driving over my hopscotch? Run, run, run. Up the hill. Any guard? Two at the gate. Let's get them. Come on, Keiko. Sports bar waitresses to the rescue. Having the headquarters on Pike's Peak is kind of a pain. A lot of people say I look like Fred Willard. Really. Don't touch my Kiana, it'll snag. If you hunch over, people can't see you. Can you study hall, there's this really cute guy. Yeah, we work well together, Vito. Hey! Ooh. 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 Ouch, 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 ouch. Don't watch the jiggling, honey. Killing. 
This is kind of a light motif of this movie. Park far away and run to the scene of the caper. Can't get this helmet on. Oh, God, it's my Aunt Thelma. Hmm? Hmm? Hold it! Yeah! That's the pool cleaning guy! Mm -hmm. oh! My rascal barked chow chow and a jet drilled his knickers. Baby! I'm a want you! We didn't count on her having a way with pets. Freddy friends. Just remembered, Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman is on. And Mark Spitz wins another gold medal in the jean jacket freestyle. Oh, now she's having a Sherman Oaks flashback. <laughs> In California. I hurt my pants. Would you quit following me? Jim Henson. Hi. Oh. oh. Peter's parties are nuts, man. I regret nothing. <laughs> Greg Luganis goes motorcycling. Hell's Angels on Wheels, starring Esther Williams. It's a Philip Glass. Oh, a touching underwater love scene. Yeah, I can see why she needed the motorcycle to do this. <gasps> Say, neo-gothic, really nice. What do you do? Shoot the hostage. <laughs> Lady Blue. Susan, what are you doing? Easy, it's all right now. You're okay. all right. You just bought a one-way ticket to the... Oh! Ow. <clears throat> the sensibly dressed commando. Would you like a glass of water? I don't think she wants Keiko, glass. are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. Kelsey Grammer was supposed to meet me here. French stuff. French stuff. Ah, that booze really refreshed me. Ah, switching strategies. He's going into the wine cellar. Ah. Cheryl Ladd is woefully miscast in the Wilma Rudolph story. All right, paper boy, if you miss the porch one more time. Okay, here's the plan. Everyone get home and condition right now. All over, ladies. Hmm? Just relax. And don't make any sudden moves. Guess what, Randy kissed me. Stop it, mister. I'll take that. Would this be a bad well, time to up. ask you I'll out? Check on Trish. I'll tell you what. I'll call Miller. He'll take care of everything. Oh, <sighs> Who's got a corkscrew? Wait a minute. Let's time up with this. Well, not the bad guys are constantly being rewarded in this film. Get in there. He's not going anywhere. Yes, he is. You locked him outside. Oh, no. He saw City Slickers, too. Well, look, it was... We were overcome with mild concern. You, drop your gun. Get down here. 
Well, they got a hot dog stand right there by the pool. <laughs> well, you girls did a pretty good job. Well, you girls did a pretty good job. But you didn't quite have the control you thought you had. Control. I learned a long time ago to eliminate any possible... <laughs> I may have been shot. Shoot, now I'm sober. By this time, my lungs were aching for booze. You want to skim the Peter Lawford off your pool. Trish! You better go study for your test. Trish, how are you? Are you all right? Am I one of the seven now? Yes, little Trish. You're one of us. <laughs> little Trish. Don't worry. Well, it can't kill one of the seven. She is so delusional right now. As Lucretia McEvil. As thank you, Mr. Eddie's father. As the plain, unremarkable one died in Vietnam. As Lorraine Newman. As Greg Allman. As J. Edgar Hoover. Okay, baby, let's get fucking out. 70s style. Now, Mike, you gotta tell me, what caused the 70s? Uh, what do you mean, baby? I mean, this whole 70s. Who came up with it? Ah. Uh, 70s. Uh, well, I think they were developed by uh, Robert Stakewood. Ah. Actually, I, I think the 70s were made up by either uh, England Dan or John Ford Coley. I'm not sure. I think they both came up with it at the same time. Thus, the legend was born. Hey, look, Cody Palance. He's uh, Jack Palance's tough, speaking, smart, wise-cracking crime-fighting son. Yeah. Isn't Can't Stop the Music with the village people tied up with the 70s somehow? Yes, but uh, don't diminish the importance of Nancy Walker. No, I didn't mean to imply that. Nancy well, whenever Walker. anyone mentions Can't Stop the Music, they forget about Nancy Walker. It's not right. Jeez, all I was saying... It just gets me mad, that's all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I know who was important during the 70s. The Eagles. You're damn right they were important. They more, almost single-handedly sustained the economy of Columbia. For some <laughs> reason, when I think of the 70s, I think of Melanie. I do, too. You know what? Brand new key, lay down, lay down, candles at her concert. No, 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 no. I was going to say Melanie Chardoff. Friday spoke to a whole generation, man. When you talk about the 70s, you can't forget the scandal that rocked the decade. You know what I'm talking about, right? Of course. You mean when Abe Vigoda left Barney Miller to star on Fish, right? I never got over that. That's not what I'm talking about. I was thinking of Watergate. Watergate. Well, what the hell did Abe Vigoda have to do with Watergate? Nothing. Then why are you dragging him into it? You said I could... Oh. You too. <laughs> Hey, remember when everybody had this poster here, uh, except that uh, it was only one of them, and it was Farrah Fawcett? Remember that? Yeah. All breasts, whether actual or created, are based on authenticated fact. Hey, where was Bruce Jenner in this movie? It, he's the one on the left. Down, boogie, oogie, oogie, get down. a whole lot of shameful performances in today's movie. Why, even your run-of-the-mill Paloka like Crow here could tell you that much. He's right. I could. <laughs> but now, thanks to my fantastic new invention, mankind Ooh. are able to measure exactly how shameful they was. Well, this little thing, the shameometer? Shamometer, Mike. Hey, shamometer. Bop dee ba dee dee. How charming. Shut up, Crow. Ba -dee -ba -dee. Mike, shame emits tiny waves best measured in units of lawfords, kilowafords, megalawfords, and so on. Cam bot if you please. Well, county girl, shall I gasoline her up for you? See there? Well, Megal offered range. I'd say that's pretty shameful. But let's try something else. Cam butt. I am Commander Lindsay Marsh, Commander of the uh, American uh, Royal. See uh, there? Uh, hmm. Jim Backus level shame registers well into the giggle offered range. So in order to get an accurate reading, I'm going to have to retrofit this no, little baby. No, no, that's that's quite all right, Servo. You know though, you young man have performed a valuable service here today. I Oh, my God, there's an unidentified source. This could be well into the Google scene. Mike, it was pointless and silly of us to dress as 70s relief pitchers. 
And to rectify this situation, we've decided to dress as Bobby Riggs and Billie Jean King. Because, Mike, we pride ourselves on being topical and current. Hey, you lousy woman, rectify this. <laughs>